How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Update 4 released yesterday for Forza Horizon 5. There's a lot going on in the community. There's a lot within Update 4 that wasn't really very well known. I'm going to cover that today. We're going to cover the main fixes, the current state of the game, and also quite a few other things going on in the community of Horizon 5 that's sort of also quite unknown. Just a bunch of new stuff to talk about in today's video, all related to updates and stuff for Horizon 5, so make sure to stay tuned. If you enjoy this type of video, guys we do this all the time make sure to subscribe let's get into it before we get into update 4 specifically let's have a quick talk about everything else that's been going on which isn't related to the updates play on games or forza horizon now have their own official tiktok page so if you're into tiktok you like your tiktok stuff and you want to follow forza horizon this is their official page run by you know forza themselves it's not a fan made page so if you're into tiktok get at it now something very controversial has been going on for a few weeks now. You may know when you're creating designs for cars in Forza Horizon 5, on PC there are actually third party tools and programs you can use to basically import images onto these designs, sort of cheat the designs in. Now it's been very controversial on if this should be allowed or not, if you should be banned for doing this, you know, because people that don't have access to these tools have to make these designs from scratch and it can be seen as a bit unfair. I can see both sides of the argument. However, Forza have put out a tweet basically saying that they're aware of these third party tools that can help you create liveries and they're looking into it, they're thinking about it, they're coming to a conclusion and they're going to let us know. As I always say, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this do you think that you should be allowed to use these third party programs to make these liveries or do you think you should be banned for using them let me know in the comment section below i'm sure i'll update you all on this channel when thoughts are finally come to a conclusion on that now there's more controversial things going on especially regarding update 4 credits aren't a difficult thing to get within forza horizon 5 however there are specific methods to do if you want credits quickly and one of the best things to do was the porsche cayman gts car mastery there used to be a super wheel spin perk within the porsche cayman gts however it has now been removed you used to be able to spend i think 15 skill points to get this super wheel spin however they've removed it within this update so far every single car that people used for, to buy super wheel spins with they've just removed it because it's been too overpowered it started with the supra and now the porsche i've seen some people disagree with this because it wasn't really that overpowered but as of today, you can no longer buy Super Wheel Spins from the Cayman GTS Car Mastery. Because of this, it's been reported that quite a lot of people, including yourself, so check your Forza Horizon 5 if you haven't already, um, have been refunded for some skill points that you've purchased. Apparently, it hasn't just been the Porsche that they have removed skill points from. There's been a bunch of other cars that they've sort of, you know, revamped the Skill Mastery collection, which means that if you previously purchased a perk, which they have now removed, you'll obviously get refunded for it. So check your game, you might have a bunch of refunded um, car mastery skill points waiting for you. I certainly did. Another thing that you might have waiting for you on the game is, as you may remember, for the previous festival playlists like season one and season two, there were actually quite a few issues with unlocking certain challenges and certain cars. And it was previously said they're actually going to go back and fix it and then reward everyone these cars that we should have been able to unlock but couldn't because of the glitchy festival playlist. Well, I came on my game this morning and I actually had four cars given to me for free. The Ital Design Zero Uno and the Subaru 22B, I think, I can't quite remember. Basically, these two cars right here for season one, winter. Quite weird, because I had these cars anyway and it gave me two of each, which is really strange, but I'm not complaining. Now, speaking of free cars, there is a new special car being added to the game called the Ford GT. OP edition? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's very similar to the Horizon 5 limited edition controller. You purchase something else and then get given a code for this car. As you can see here, if you purchase $20 worth of OP Xbox collection products from Ultra Beauty between the 26th of December and the 31st of March in one transaction, you will get the code for this 4GT OP edition um, for free basically. Now there's a bit more details here about where exactly you can buy these if you want this car. It, do it is unfortunately US only so I'm not just exactly sure how that's going to work for everyone else in the world. But yeah there's a special 4 GT coming to the game and that is sort of how you unlock it. And another controversial thing and I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below if you're experiencing this yourself or if you're having no issues at all let me know. But apparently 
straight after update 4 came out yesterday lots of people were instantly having multiplayer issues again multiplayer issues have been a big thing for Forza Horizon 5 disconnecting from convoys and such and such apparently disconnecting has become quite a big issue again as of yesterday some say it was only temporary i've personally not experienced it at all but let me know in the comment section below are you now are you now having disconnection issues is online working okay for you or is it just sort of a temporary thing that only happened yesterday that's now sort of fixed itself now obviously we don't want to hear that the game has had issues added after every update however we have obviously been given the patch notes for the update yesterday with all of the fixes and just the general idea of what's been fixed and then once again let me know in the comment section below how the game's running for you after update for if you're happy with it or it's worse let me know but regardless we're going to quickly steam through everything that they fixed and sorted and added for update 4 when it comes to the, the mini patch notes game stability has been improved this is to be expected just the general sort of how much it crashes how stable it is that's sort of been revamped a little bit which is good to hear if you want to read any of these make sure to pause the videos so i'm going to skip through them quite quickly but multiplayer has had a lot fixed which is always good to see quite a lot of these multiplayer issues don't seem to be too big they just seem to be annoying just miscellaneous annoying issues that have now been fixed anyway wheel compatibility or wheel issues they've been revamped a little bit if you're having any issues to do with any wheel read what's on screen right now you might have less issues now it might have been fixed exploits now i spoke about this earlier as you can see they've rebalanced some car mastery tables to remove exploit loops i don't really agree that they were exploits they were just methods but again they have refunded the skill points and also removed some of them from the car masteries they fixed an exploit with wheel spins and they've fixed um, afk skill points as well now something else that they have done which i didn't mention is they have added a 1000 credit reward to the super wheel spins Again, that's also a very controversial thing. You can now get 1,000 credits in a super wheel spin spin. So yeah, take that as you will. We also have some PC fixes. This is mostly graphical. So if you're having any graphical issues or bugs with on, on playing on PC, that might have been fixed. Again, just read what's on screen and you'll know. A bunch of things have been fixed to do with cars, you know, sort of, you know, body panels not working and just strange things like that that are specifically down to the model of cars. Again, read on screen if any interest you. One that does stand out is the Pagani Zonda has been giving a new engine sound. Now, we're all about engine sounds on this channel, so I've got an audio clip coming up now of what the new engine sound for the Zonda sounds like. can't quite remember what it used to sound like but that sounds pretty cool so yeah a bunch of new car stuff has been fixed accolades now there are quite a lot of broken accolades and it doesn't seem like they've actually fixed many of them in today's sort of update but if you are waiting for a specific accolade to be fixed if it's on that list it's been fixed if it isn't you have to wait till a future update now event lab has been completely revamped we have a ton of event lab features added and just quality of life to do with event lab event lab has been one of the biggest places which is needed in improvement and needed features specifically the saving one well that has been implemented now you can now save and edit um, event lab creations which is massive and not and not only that there's a bunch of other stuff as well um, as you can see on screen festival playlist festival playlist as i mentioned earlier has been a bit buggy it's been a bit better now however obviously there are still some bugs they have all been fixed on screen if you've had any issues read them and to end it off there is sort of a miscellaneous category of stuff of mini stuff that's been added and just mini fixes on just revamps that's needed to be done aren't really worth mentioning just sort of little things but you guys might have been having specific issues with any of them things so once again have a quick scan through what's on screen you might spot something you're happy with so there has been a lot more added within Forza Horizon 5 to update for than first met the eye once again guys as i've said i want you to let me know in the comment section below how the game's running for you we like to keep this an ongoing discussion in the comment section how the game's running what you're thinking of it if you're happy with it blah 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 blah, blah. i'd like to hear it but that's everything we need to know about what's going on in the horizon 5 community as of the 2nd of february make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed guys subscribe if you haven't already for more horizon 5 content just like this and i'll see you all later